Mr. Investalot Market News Daily. Today we're talking about Battle of the Streamers. So we've all heard of streaming. Some of us like to Netflix and chill. Naughty. Netflix, Roku, Disney, Amazon, Apple, everybody wants a piece of that pie. Netflix has been losing subscribers 200,000 in the first three months of 2022. The value of Netflix stock has dropped 65% in the last six months, and apparently due to stiff competition and slowed subscriber growth, Netflix is rumored to be having budget cuts and less risks taken in production, meaning some of the newer series may not get funding, and they will have to be very careful they might be less experimental in new productions and distribution. Rumor has it that Netflix was also eyeing up an acquisition of Roku. This may be due to Roku's large advertising revenue and their growing subscriber base. They are growing rapidly. Roku's employees were apparently also banned from selling their stock recently. So what makes Roku so attractive? Well, Roku has this business model where they provide free but adverts supported access to over 100,000 movies, TV shows and over 100 channels. Talk about value for money. So Netflix may also need to explore this in order to continue their growth. However, the co-CEO of Netflix has denied an acquisition, but suggested they want ad partnerships. And it's all heating up though, with Disney adding another 7.9 million subscribers in the first quarter of 2022, bringing them to a whopping 87.6 million subscribers. Apple TV is now at around 25 million, Roku at 60 million, Amazon Prime Video at 200 million. They're all catching up with Netflix, who is at 222 million subscribers. However, they've hit a growth so will Netflix release Netflix gaming in order to attract another growth opportunity? Will their market share get eaten up by all these competitors? Or will brilliant series like Stranger Things save the day? Apparently it has over 1 billion hours of watch time already, bringing it close to Squid Game in their popularity and the amount of watch time. Let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. This is Miguel aka Mr. Investalot, a Market News Daily. I'll catch you in the next episode.